So Except it's not. Yeah, well, right. H2O, no, you didn't. How about that? Oh, that's better. <laughs> Meteorologist Christina Loren, we could use some water. <laughs> oh, yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, we know we do need the water. We definitely know that much. But you know what? We've really been racking our brains, grappling with this data that's coming in, because we're trying to figure out how much do we need to get out of this drought. So let's put it in perspective for you. We are one full water year behind. And an average water year, we get about 20 inches in San Francisco and 15 in San Jose. Jose. To escape the drought, we've got to double our average water year and pick up 40 inches in SF and, yeah, over 30 inches in San Jose. And so just to put things into perspective for you, remember how much rain we got last Wednesday? Well, it's going to take 50 storms like that over the course of 284 days to get out of this drought. Is it impossible? No. Do we think it's going to happen? It's very unlikely. But what I can tell you is as long as we hit that average, we're not going to be talking about mandatory restrictions, which we will be having to talk about if we don't hit that average. So it's really important that we get the water that we need this year. Now, October 13th through the 16th is our next best chance for rain. But what's really interesting is right here here on your satellite imagery you can see we've got a little green just offshore in San Francisco so here's the deal with what's going on in our atmosphere we're getting some really cool stuff you can see these clouds arcing up and around that big ridge of high pressure now for us we still have a trough here in the Bay Area and so that's what's keeping things nice and cool keeping these clouds coming in but the good news is you're getting that sunshine we promised you in San Francisco at this time and you'll get it for about three more hours before the fog rolls back in so I always like to give you the good news and the bad news We've got some heat coming your way. Temperatures are going to be very hot in the triple digits in your Inland Valley spots. But if you want to hit the beach, take a look at our ocean temperatures. They're still unusually warm. We're typically in the 50s and we're holding on with those temps in the 60s with no change in sight when it comes to those ocean temperatures. For us, we've got some big changes coming your way starting tomorrow. We'll boost your temperatures up by about 10 degrees. That's going to peak that big ridge of high pressure Thursday, Friday, the warmest. And then we'll start to cool you off. We stop that clock on your future cast 9 a.m. Wednesday. <laughs> so be it. We do have a little trough trying to dig into the Bay Area. It's the storms that line up after this that we're really counting on for the 13th through the 16th. And we could be talking about three to four good days of rain. So keep that in mind while I show you this. 92 degrees for Thursday up to 93 on Friday in the South Bay. The 80s on the way to San Francisco. If you don't have an AC, might get a little bit balmy, but I can tell you heat relief towards the end of the weekend. Back to you, Scott and Chris.